Johnny Hunt. This is the Cord Melee Uke Lessons video series here on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is an instructional channel for ukulele players that are looking to uh, broaden their horizons and branch out, learn some new uh, ways to play, and uh, double your pleasure, double your fun. Uh, today we're going to learn to play a song by the Youngbloods, Jesse, Colin Young, uh, back I think early 70s, vintage. Um, and um, it's just a, a, a positive song. I like positive songs. Um, some people might think it's a little bit hokey, but it's got a good message there. Uh, it's Let's Get Together. And so what we do is I go ahead and play through the song once, and then I uh, break it down into its uh, pieces. And show you just exactly what I'm doing and try to explain it uh, as thoroughly as possible and that way uh, you can if you like this song you can learn to play it yourself because that's why you're watching this video so let's go ahead and play through it I play it on high G uke in the key of D so here's the intro um, it's not a first position song, as you see already, but uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and listen, and then we'll uh, do the teaching portion of the video. got the the rift the intro riff which is just going back and forth between D and C and then it's got the uh, verse part and then it's got the chorus so I'm gonna go slowly now and go through the three parts and if you're singing it you can kind of choose you know the riff thing goes between all the verses and how many times you play it and whatnot, you work that out uh, however you want to arrange the song if you're singing. And if you're playing the instrumental, there's three verses and choruses. So, um, you know, I'm just going to provide you a skeleton. And once you get the, the hang of it, you feel free, of course, to embellish and amplify and delete and uh, spindle fold and mutilate to your heart's content. So let's work on the riff. So I'm doing a bar chord D, which at the fifth fret. So it's seven, six, five, five, and you're gonna use your pinky here. You're just gonna throw in the six over the five of these. That's just an alternating pattern here on the third and fourth strings, as I count them anyway. So seven, six, five, five. So, fourth, 
third, fourth, third, fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string, fourth string. And every other time you're throwing your pinky down two frets beyond wherever your bar is. And on the downbeat I'm plucking all three and that's how I'm getting the chord. Third string, third, fourth, third, fourth, third, fourth, fretted. So this would be, so what are we actually doing? Without the chord, so I got my bar here, and these fingers are just uh, permanent, at least while I'm doing the D chord. So let's let's show it this way. And then we're just moving back up two frets to C. Of course, here's the full C chord that you want for that downbeat. And, and two of those patterns is plenty, and then you can get right into uh, playing the verse. So now we're back to our first position uh, A D chord. So two 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 open. So I'm just walking up second second fret of the second string, third string open, third string second fret. Back to the second string. And then I'm throwing my pinky down at the third fret of this third string, still over the, the D chord. Third fret, second fret, and then down to the second string. And that's the first line. So still on the D chord. Second string, second fret. Open third, back to the second. And then the C chord, just to open. Here's the melody, second string open. And the rest of the chord you're just filling out over a C chord. So I'm just walking up, I'm arpeggiating the chord, essentially. I'm just pinching, top two strings, top three strings, third fret of the third string, third fret of the fourth string. And then back to D. So we're starting on the third string on this line. rhythm here. And it's just up and down uh, as far as the, the notes go. So D chord two 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 zero twice on the second fret third string third fret open fourth second Fret fourth, you can do it here, or just make a single. I guess what I'm doing is taking my ring finger and just moving it over. Second fret of that fourth string back to open, back to the third string, third fret, and that's the second line. So still over the D chord, two, 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 second fret, second, second, third, second, C. And just arpeggiating again. Third line. Same as the second. Take the rest of the strings away, but still over the D chord. So I'm I'm not taking the strings away, I'm taking the fingers away, but I am leaving them attached to my hand for future use.
now a G chord on the fourth line. Zero, two, three, two. Melody on the top. Second fret, open, fourth, third string, third fret. Up to a high A chord. What is it? I'm ignoring the top string for now. So it's X four five four. It's just um it's just your G chord jacked up two frets. So G A flat A. And the melody's on the top string. Fourth, 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 second open. And then we're just playing the We're going to a D chord actually. There's the downbeat. Everybody. Okay? So two 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 five. Five. Fifth fret, fourth string, open. Fourth string. Third fret, third string. Second fret. B minor. How are you make it? I don't care. I like I like bar chords. Four. Four, three, two. So third string is the melody. Third fret, third fret, second. This is an A. Just with the with the, with the lingering um, second fret note. So second fret, open just your regular A chord two one zero. Then I'm throwing my ring finger down on the second part of the second string, and then the first fret, and then back to a D chord, and then back to the riff. is good. Or single note, you know. Whatever um, thrills your soul, okay? So, so let's get together, work on the song. Uh, just rewind, the, you know, the, the digital equivalent of rewinding. They still have a rewind button, just like in the cassette days, which, uh, you know, that's where I come from. And, uh, you know, look at it two or three times, and if you're still going, hey, how did he do that? Uh, send an email to me at chordmelodyuke at yahoo.com, and I'll see if I can't uh, get you some help. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you know other uke players, if you're in a uke group and there's uh, others that you think might be interested, uh, I appreciate you uh, passing the news about this channel along to them. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you that uh, subscribe and enjoy these videos. So, Johnny Hunt, 
See you down the road. Thanks.